Hello, this is Jill, and look what I have here. I have a brand new eBay purchase. Uh, I got this off eBay. It's in this little plastic. I'll take it out in a second. But this whole bunch of, uh, I guess it's Chinese lettering. Um, it probably came all the way from China. But this is a integrated circuit tester. And it is designed to uh, kind of identify uh, uh, many common or all com common types of dip logic chips. Um, and let me go ahead and open this up so you can look at it closer. Okay, and here it is. So basically, um, it I, I have a list here. Uh, so this is kind of what I printed off of uh, eBay. Um, you can kind of see all the list, uh, very uh, common 74 series, 74 SL series, um, uh, 54 series, etc. A whole bunch of them. Um, I was told that this could identify up to 15,000 or 1,500 types of uh, logic chips. And so it, it runs on a, it looks like a 3 volt, uh, or uh, excuse me, AAA battery. Uh, so I hope I have one of those around. Uh, and this little lever arm comes up, and I'm not sure if you can tell uh, when I lift this thing up. You can see the uh, pinchers open and shut, so that holds um, the uh, the chip in there. And then uh, supposedly you just push down the button. It kind of records some uh, digital displays here. It uh, will flash the number of the chip. So let's say it's a um, 7402. It'll say 7402, something like that. Um, and then um, if it if the chip's bad. It is a tester. If the chip's bad, it'll record some kind of error reading. So we're going to go ahead and try this out and see what uh, if it works. Okay, it took me a while to find a AAA battery, but we're all set now. And I actually have two, um, probably very similar, but uh, different logic um, chips here. Uh, one, and uh, these are all I can dig up right now. I'd have to take some out of some uh, pinball machines or something like that. So this one is a uh, SN. Four or excuse me, SN seven four one two one N chip. So looking closer at this chip, hopefully you can focus in. You can see it's it's a uh, SN seven four one two one N, and so um, now you could see here. Hopefully, there's a little notch up on top of these chips. Usually all these kind of chips have a notch to identify where the pins are relative to it and uh, the instructions are generally keep the notch down uh, when you insert these things and you can see I'm leaving the, um, the notch down and the top of the chip here is on top of the uh, tester and then I just shut it closed so it's nice and tight so apparently all I have to do is push this button and numbers start displaying uh, on the face and it is since it's a 74121 chip it should flash 74121 or 74-121 depending on uh, what it kind of wants to do <laughs> so um, and if it's an, if the chip's no good it'll sh show an error message or spell out ERR so let's go ahead and give it a shot Oh, look at that. It is flashing ERR. -R. That means this chip is bad. And so I kind of had a suspect about this chip, but it kind of confirms that. So let's go ahead and test the other one. So it didn't flash up any numbers. So I have another chip here. We have a uh, SN7416N. Uh, so go ahead and take a look at that. There you go, okay, and we'll go ahead and set that in, so 7416N, uh, so we go ahead and shut the door there, and if you can see it okay, and we're going to push the button. Interesting, 74-05. So it's basically telling me it's a 7405 when the chip actually reads 7416. Well, does that make sense? Well, I 
I scratched my head about that. Yes, I tested it out before I showed you. And I uh, went ahead and downloaded the data sheets for both of these. So this is the 74 uh, 16, and you could see uh, this is basically the chip. And when you actually look at the logic uh, right here, you can see it's just a bunch of hex inverters, uh, if you know what that means. So there's that. And then I look at 7405, which is this one. And it is, uh, hopefully you can see them both of them, they're basically identical side by side. And then you look at the logic and it, it, it actually matches perfectly. So it makes sense that it's actually identifying this as 7405. Uh, but so if you get a different number, if you don't get an error and you get a different number, maybe check the data sheets out. So it seems like it works okay. So I hope this video helped you out. It's a pretty handy device. Um, now I purchased this on eBay for 20 bucks. Now I've seen these things floating around priced from $20 all the way to $150. I've seen these on some uh, electronic shows, some uh, gaming shows, because I kind of work on uh, pinballs and arcades for up to 100 bucks. So don't be fooled, it's the same thing. Just go on eBay, uh, buy one from China for 20 bucks, test it out. Uh, hopefully it'll do the trick for you. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.